Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we'll continue with part six of constructing the car project. Okay, so now we have the roof and the wheel flat. I'm going to continue on and try to build the side glass. Okay, so uh, one thing to notice about the side glass is that it has to be a barrel shape. It has to be based on the barrel, shape of a barrel. And the reason is because the, uh, the side glass actually has to go down uh, to open the window. Now we're not gonna, uh, usually these, uh, the barrels are supplied by the engineer because they have to follow a specific um, dimensions and radius and, and, uh, and sort. Because of that, we are, uh, however, we do not have the engineering specifications. So I'm just gonna mimic the shape roughly. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay out a curve from here to here like this. I'm just gonna make that into a degree two. And I'm going to snap a curve from here to here. And I'm also going to make that a degree two curve. Okay, and I'm just gonna uh, pull this out. So I'm just gonna pull this out as to mimic the shape right here, but this is all gonna change or uh, change as we adjust this. So I'm just gonna make it roughly. So I'm just gonna, now right now, because we don't have an engineering specification or anything like that or engineering data, we're just going to try to mimic uh, somewhat you do in an actual production environment. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, and I'm just going to use the stretch tool just to lean this over so that you are sort of mimicking the shape of the glass, side glass like this. It just has to be rough you're going to, uh, because we're going to be adjusting them a lot anyways. So I just want to make something like that. So when you're doing this, because you want to make sure that this is as circular as possible, you just want to make sure that the CV is located uh, about equidistance from this one and this one. So when you turn on the curve curvature, this is sort of round. So right now I, I see that it's a, le a little bit leaning towards the side. So I just want to make sure that they are sort of balanced. But okay, so I think that's good enough for now. And what I'm gonna do is, because I mimic the shape of the glass from the top view and the rear view, I think it's pretty close. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the rail. So I'm just gonna say one and one, and it's important to put it in a parallel, like this. And now I'm going to try to capture the shape of the side glass. So maybe I'll just bring this down just a little bit. Okay. So now I'm gonna to try to mimic the side glass shape, but uh, when you're mimicking the, sh uh, when you're trying to create the curves, you wanna make sure that you uh, follow the inside of this. So when you actually look at a vehicle, these, um, this, uh, the inside part is the actual glass, so you wanna to try to mimic that part. So I'm just gonna lay out some curves, this. I'm gonna change that to degree two that and change this to degree two. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more control. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Just bring this down a little bit. I would assume that uh, the surface requires a little bit of acceleration, um, but I think this is good enough for now. Okay, so for the next set, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste these curves and I'm gonna to try to use them. So I'm just gonna hide and select these two surfaces. Uh, I don't know if I, okay. So I'm just gonna untrim and duplicate the curves like this. And because of this, uh, these are copies, I can just delete them like that. And and I'm just going to bring them down like that. Because uh, these need to be somewhat similar in gesture and that's why I'm just recycling these like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna place somewhere there. I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna use a stretch and move, uh, move the CVs in order to get the shape as close as possible to the orthographic drawing. 
And here too, I'm just gonna move this down and move this up that. Okay, now I think, okay, stretch, move it up a little bit more and move this. Okay, so I'm just gonna extend these, uh, this curve. So right now it's a little too long. Just gonna move it down just a little bit. And maybe I'll just add a little bit more crown like that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's just extend these curves like that. And I'll probably add a fillet. Um, actually, let's see if I can use a curve fillet tool. So, I'm just going to go over here, curve fillet. Let's say chord, I'm gonna say G2. Uh, form factor, I'm gonna reduce it to 0.5 because that's what we used over here. Now, uh, let's check the, now uh, we did rebuild this section. So I'm just gonna do a rough check of what the distance was. Actually, to do this, I'm just going to check the distance here and here. And it looks like it's about 667. Now it, it needs to be a little bit smaller because right now it's uh, sort of more offset inboard. So I'm just gonna go back here, car fill it. And I'm gonna say six, maybe start with 600. Form factor 0.5. And let's see what kind of results we get. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Now it's a little bit lean, uh, leaning towards uh, the rear, but I think that's understandable since uh, it is also offset a little bit. So I think that's pretty good. And well, however, I don't think it's a fitting the shape that well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna might have to adjust the CVs a little bit just to get the shape a little bit more matching to match. The graphic, the orthographic drawing. Okay, so I think that's it's more fitting. Move this down a little bit. Okay, I think that's fitting a little bit better. I'm gonna move this up. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And this curve looks pretty good. Okay, so this one looks good. So I just, I think I just have to strike a line for this one and we can project. Okay, so I'm just gonna project here. Something like that, maybe a little bit of acceleration towards the top. F6 for side view. Just gonna rotate this. This using the middle mouse button. Okay, maybe a little bit more crown. A little bit more lean towards the top. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. And let's project it and see what's what. Okay, so before we continue, I'm just gonna say right now the curve, so unlike uh, surface fillet, um, the curve fillet doesn't automatically trim. So I'm gonna say automatic and it automatically trims it for you. And I'm just gonna project these curves onto the surface that we created. So I'm gonna project. Grab other curves. Oops. Grab all the curves like this. And now let's compare to the orthographic drawing. Okay, so uh, from the top view, I think it looks actually pretty close, but I think we need to push this in a little bit more and you'll see that it's a little bit, it's matching here, but it's not, uh, it's a little bit uh, out over here. So what I'm gonna do is actually, uh, I'm gonna move these curves a bit more because they are in the way. And I'm just gonna grab these and just push it in like this to get the shape correct. Now, um, when you see this line, you don't have to, uh, you should, uh, you actually shouldn't be matching it because this is actually uh, 
the mode out, outboard side. So this is probably this line. So you want to make sure right now the only area that you should match exactly is probably here because this is actually the inside of the trim trim line. Uh, I think this is matching well. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but let's try to get it a little bit better fit right here. Now, uh, for this one, I think I probably need to reference the, uh, an actual image. So let's check out the image. So let's check out some photos. Let's see if I can find one that's a little bit more zoomed in to the glass with the B, uh, B pillar visible. I don't think I can find one oh, that's one uh, that was zoomed in. So let me just check it. Okay, so it looks like it. Uh, there is a little bit of thickness. Uh, well, of course, there is a little bit of thickness to the B, uh, B pillar. So I don't know if I need to match to this line or the other line. It's getting a little bit confusing. So let me just try to find an image. Okay, so I think um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this in uh, just a little bit because if you look at this image, for example, and let me just zoom in. So you'll see that there's the B pillar, there's the Chrome Deco, which is represented by this line right here and the B pillar. You'll see that because of the window and the window seal, there's a little bit of gap before the window, uh, the side glass actually starts. So I don't know if this is, if that's a line, so maybe I'll use that. So I'm just gonna grab all the curves and just move it in just a little like that. Okay, maybe I'll use that as the inside line and I'm just gonna push this in just a little bit like that. Okay, so I think that matches very well. Um, now, uh, we do have to adjust this. I don't know how much I'm gonna have to push it in, but I think I might have to push it out just a little bit because I don't think it's gonna be that deep. Okay, so that looks okay. So I'm just gonna push this out a little bit because I, don't, I think there's too much curl here. So I'm just gonna push it out just a little bit and I'm gonna push this line back in. Like that to match this line a little bit better. Uh, okay, so now I just have to make sure that this is aligned well. So, okay, from the side view, oh, I'm uh, sorry, from the rear view, I think, I think I need to project some lines for the B pillars to get a little bit better sense of if I did it correctly. So I'm just gonna project this line and I'm gonna project one for this one. So I'm just gonna rotate it from the side view like this. And just project them onto the glass like that. Okay, so from the rear view, I think it's, uh, let's see, which one should I use? Um, for Because I'm doing the rear view, I think I should use this one. And it looks like it's actually matching quite well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's check it from the front. So I'm gonna turn the rear scan, uh, not scan, uh, rear canvas off and turn the front on. Let me check it. Now, uh, it doesn't look like it's visible just because of all the stuff that's going on in here. So I think, I don't think it's gonna be, uh, I'm, uh, I'll be able to check it from the front view. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm just gonna turn the rear, uh, front off, rear back on. Okay, to be honest, I think this actually, it's fitting quite well. And also from the top view, it's uh, following, uh, following the outline quite well. So I think I'm gonna use this. So maybe um, it just, Okay, so for this one, I, uh, because the A pillar is gonna, uh, not the A pillar, yes, uh, the A pillar. The A pillar uh, might have a little bit different line than the actual glass itself, so I'll just leave it at that, and I think this is pretty good. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna uh, leave this roughly uh, baked in because we are going to be doing, uh, when we're doing adding uh, actual pillars, we're gonna be making some adjustments. So I think I'm just gonna leave the side glass as is like this. Okay, 
Um, in the meantime, let's create another layer, side class, and I'm gonna hide all the curves that I used to create a width, um, just because this uh, we will be modifying it later. So I'm just gonna hide all the curves for clarity, and that's it. Okay. Um, Okay, that's it for part six. Uh, we will continue in the next tutorial. And thank you guys for watching.